Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to share data between Crossover and Parallels. So if you're a veteran of Windows gaming on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, you can run games through Crossover or through Parallels and often one is going to work better than the other. However, it's a little bit of a pain if you want to maintain two different Steam libraries. So if you have a Crossover Steam library and also a Parallels Steam library, you want to avoid downloading the same game twice. So today I'm going to show you how to share the Steam library between Crossover and and parallels so that you don't duplicate games. And hopefully this is going to show you how to access data from the macOS side of things in parallels. So you can use the data from other launchers, for example, GOG, etc. But today I'm going to show you the Steam method of doing this. So today I'm going to be assuming that you've already installed Crossover and Parallels. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then please check out the link in the description for my video tutorial for Windows gaming on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. The first half of this is a parallels tutorial. So this allows you to install the Windows 11 ARM virtual machine. And the second half of this is about Crossover, which uses Wine in order to form a compatibility layer for Windows games. And they operate differently, but we can use the same Steam library for both. So what I'm going to do is make sure that we have Steam installed. So if you don't have Steam installed, you can always use this Install a Windows Application button, then type in the word Steam, and you can install Steam here. Basically, the Crossover Steam library we're going to use as kind of the master library. So I've already got a whole bunch of Steam games installed via Crossover, and I don't want to have to duplicate this on the parallel side because we're using the same machine. And so lots of people have got a workaround. They can use an external hard drive to host the Steam library, but that's completely unnecessary. So I'm going to show you how to access the data here on Parallels. So I'm going to go into my Parallels virtual machine. So I've got my Steam open on Parallels running as a virtual machine here, and I'm missing the game Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So I have this option here to stream this. I can actually stream it from my MacBook. That would be actually streaming it from the crossover Steam here. And I don't want to do that. I want to play this game locally, and I want to be able to do this without having to re-download this entire game again. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. What we need to do is click on the Steam button here, then go to Settings. Then once we're in Settings, we need to go to the Downloads section here. So change the option on the sidebar to Downloads, then click Steam Library Folders. And basically, we have our virtual C drive here. This is the Windows 11 ARM Steam. And these are all of the games that I've installed. And basically, what I want to do is to add my crossover Steam library here. So this is the kind of complicated part. I'm just going to show you how this works. So what we're going to do is to go down and click this menu bar here. And then we're going to choose another location. So I'm going to press this button here and click Add. And now we have a process which you want to get right the first time. So we're going to click the drop down here and then make sure we scroll down and then find the Z drive here. So I'm going to click the Z drive. And as you can see, this gives the entire root menu access of the Mac side of the computer. So because of the Parallels guest tools, we can actually see all of the macOS folders here. Basically, what we're going to do is to locate the Steam library within Crossover in our bottle. And the way that we do this is we find the Steam library folder here. So I'm going to click this plus button next to users, and then we're going to find our user here. And then we're going to scroll down until we find library. So library is where all of the crossover bottles are kept. So we're going to expand this, then expand application support. Then we're going to find crossover. So there might be quite a few things in the way of this, but we need to find the crossover folder. So I found this crossover folder here. I'm going to expand. And then we're going to find our bottles. So I'm going to expand bottles. And then within the Steam bottle itself, we have to navigate to the subfolder where Steam is located and stores all of its games. So we need to expand the C drive of this drive. We're going to scroll to the right here, and then we're going to find Program Files, and then we're going to find Steam. So this is the actual path that we need. It's quite a convoluted process to get to here. So here we're going to press the Select button here, and that's going to add that entire shared folder. So if I check this now, it's a whole bunch of different games that I have installed on the crossover side. And this includes Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So I'm going to use that as an example. We're going to close this and press OK. And we can see here that Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is now available as a local game. So I can press play here now. And we're actually using the crossover install of this rather than downloading this locally via Parallels. So this is going to save you a lot of space because you don't have to maintain two different libraries in order to access the same games. And uh, I'm going to close this now. We can actually install new games to that exact same library so they can be used by both Crossover and Parallels. So for example, I'm going to try Dark Souls 3. I'm going to press the Install button here. And so we have the option of using our local C drive. But if I use the local C drive, this is restricted just to Windows 11 um, on Parallels. I want to select here under the Z drive, under the application support, under that bottle. And if I do this, then this is going to give us access 
not just from parallels, but also the crossover side as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials on my YouTube channel, please check it out. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.